hello and welcome to another tutorial of mine in this tutorial i intend to show you how to plot pi of pi charts now the pi of pi chart it's uh it shares resemblance with the traditional pie chart so if we select our data here and then hit insert and come to uh, the pie chart we see 2d pie charts here so this is the traditional one that we know and uh, sometimes we want to uh, plot uh, data and uh, we have uh, so much we want to feature but in a pie chart you see if you have so much to feature in your pie chart your pie chart might become clumsy and a simple eye inspection would not be always easy to get out information from your pie chart so one option you could exploit is plotting a pie of pie and so that's what we are going to do now so why selecting our data we want to click on insert and here rather than the traditional pie chart we want to use a pie of pi we've got a similar kind of chart called a bar of pi and the implementation is actually same but we use a pi of pi in this uh, demonstration so i'm going to click on it and here it is it's out for us so one thing I like doing is using the change color tool to get something that looks more nice and fine. And so I am picking the monochromatic palette one here. You could choose any one that suits your uh, interest here. So I click on this and then this is what we have. Now, one thing you want to notice in this um, implementation is that we've got uh, a primary plot and we've got a secondary plot here so a primary plot and a secondary plot here and so by default what is excel giving us here so excel is giving us the last three uh, entries in our data of quantity in stock how do we know so let me just click on the chart and we'll go to the design tab here in my previous video i show you what all of these tabs can do you see clicking out of the chart i don't have those tabs but clicking back into the chart i've got these tabs here so I actually want to use a tool in the design tab. So I'm clicking on that. And uh, in my previous video, I showed you what all of this can be used for. So you want to watch it. I have it uh, in the description below. So you can click and watch them. Then we are coming to the add chat element. So when you click the drop down button of the add chat element, and you go to data labels uh, you could choose any of these that might be appropriate to you so what it does it gives us um it gives us the labels that can help us identify in terms of uh, quantitative what each of the pi parts represent so i'm going to choose the center and that is what we have here and to make it more legible i want to click on just any of these labels and let's make it white to have white fonts and let it make it bold and let's make it a little bigger <laughs> so that's it so that's it here this is not that legible so we're going to click twice on it to select it and then let's make this black and then we have this so now that we have this there is a lot we can do um, in terms of trying to do something much more attractive so for example knowing that by default it takes the last three options we can be able to make our chart show the three largest values 
or the three smallest values in the secondary plot. How do we do that? So I'm going to select this table and then we go to our sort and filter tool. We pick custom sort and rather than sort by shops, I want to sort by quantity in stock. And let's do the largest to smallest and click OK. So you notice that it has made a sort based on quantity in stock and you have the smaller values below. So you can see that the secondary plot has got uh, the smaller values while the primary plot has got the larger values. Now, if we want it to be the other way around, we can easily come and do our sort, but this time it will be smallest to largest. So smallest to largest and implement it. So we see that the three larger numbers are here in the secondary plot. But just as you can see, when we have a lot of small numbers, it still don't, does not make our primary plot that, um, that legible. And also it tends to crowd the primary plot. So what we do here is that the previous one we had done where we had sorted largest to smallest makes it much more ideal. But you might have this constraint that, well, I like what I see here, but I also want my shops to be sorted in alphabetical order. Well, that is fine. Excel gives us tools for us to accomplish just that. So I'm going to go back to my sort and then by shops and sort A to Z. So we're back to what it is when we just implemented it. So the next thing we do is we come to either our primary or secondary plot and just double click on any of, of the pie charts. And you're going to see 2013, 2016 and above versions. You are going to see this toolbar here. And it helps us to see a lot of things that we can do. So it's a series option. And if you click the down arrow button, you're going to find different things you can select and then you can do formats in them. You could use the tools here to uh, format them the way you want. You have the chat title and it's going to select this for you. And the legend is going to select this for you. So you could do anything like this. For example, I can make this bold. I can make this bold and then we have the plot area. It does select it for us. For example, we could have a background color there, but what we're really trying to do here is with regards to the series quantity in stock. So that's what we'll click. And when we click that, we, the series option here, we're going to see these tools here and these tools are what is defining what is happening here. So what do I mean? You would see split series by position. So what I actually this is doing is telling us that each of these are positions. And if we go back to what we have here, you see values in second plot. This is the second plot. It has three. And so this three means that give me the last three positions in the secondary plot. So you can see if we move this to four, we now have four here. And then we have the total here. So this helps us to get what we want, but uh, by using positions. 
Now, we might not be interested with using positions because we see this 50 here. We actually might want that all the smaller numbers be in the, in, in, in the secondary plot. So what we can do is, what, what we can do is rather than use position, we want to use value. Now, when we click on value, you see here, it says value less than 1.0. Actually, let us do value less than 100. So notice that now I have all the smaller values here because these values are less than 100. And that's why we have them here and we have the total here. So this way we have our tables, our shops in alphabetical order, and we're able to have our pie of pie chart do exactly what we want. Yet again, we have another option called the percentage value. But for us to see what the percentage value actually does, I will quickly want to um, just show what the percentage of each of these data entries are. So I have a total here. And what we do, we do a sum of all of this here. Let's make this bold. Um, bold here. And so um, let me bring this here. So what I want to do is just find what's the percentage of each of these no numbers over its total. So that's it. We'll put it as a percentage and then we pull down. So that's it. So back to what we were trying to do, I'm going to double click on the series and here they are. And see it says value less than 10%. So if we look at it, you see this has 5%, this has 4%, this has 7%, this has 8%. And those are the values that are in our second plot. So we could choose that we want values that are less than 15% here. Again, we see that those are the four that meets that. Let's try to bring in this 194 into the um, secondary plot by using values less than 18%. So I'm going to put 18. And so you can see 94 is here. And that's because 94 has 17% and we're using 18%. So you could use any of the first three options to carry out your, uh, your, your, your layout of the pie of pie charts. And you can also use the uh, sort uh, tool to sort to get exactly what you want if that is okay by you. So this is how we can plot a pie of pie uh, chart. And you could also um, get, you could also get any of these shapes, preferably the circle shape. So what I want to do, I want to have the total here. For shapes, I don't know, I always like to take out the outline so it looks smooth and fine. And um, let's have this to have a background color of white. And what I want to do is to have the total appear here. So while I select this, I'm going to have this equal to, and I want it to be this total. So we find that uh, it's uh, not showing because it's not as big and wide as we want it to be. So one of the things we could do is reduce the font size. And another thing we could do is the text option here for this that is selected. I'm going to click it and come to text box. And so what I'm going to do is that the left margin here 
I want to take it out and the right margin I take it out too so I've got what I want here that's exactly what I want so um, another thing you could test out to see if it works fine for you uh, is that of the top and the bottom and for that of the left you could see what will happen if you increase it so this is quite much so I want to go in and then reduce this one to something like 0 0.5 so doing that I'm able to have it just about the center there just about the center and let's see if we could improve it more uh, 0 0.05 okay so we've lost something there so I think we can adjust it to give us exactly what we want so there is it so if we go back to 15 percent so we would have this and here is the total and 295 is what we have here so we don't need to have its total here we could choose to go to our quick layout and pick something that looks much more ideal so let's check let's check I think this looks fine so we pick this so we have this but still it doesn't look as uh, good as we want so what I'm going to do is that we're going to take the secondary plot how big do we want it to be we want it to be smaller we want this to be smaller so we can uh, adjust it here and this looks nice so we can bring uh, this right to the center here and so we can easily see what each of the shops have in inventory uh, and then we know that these that has orders pertains to this other um, secondary plot and so still we can always like I said change it to whatever you want so we could have it to be this and still it works for us and then we could also have it to be this and some little adjustments to it can be done to have it to just what we want so this is how we plot a pie of pie and I hope you learned something from this and um, if you did well there are more videos that will be coming up on chatting with Microsoft Excel so it would be nice if you can subscribe and then you can enjoy those videos as they come up you get uh, you get alerted when these videos uh, come up thanks for watching